Have you ever, ever, ever had a bad haircut? I'm sure you have, but I have been posting these videos asking you for feedback and I'm getting hundreds and hundreds of comments and I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna simply ask you all, have you ever had a bad haircut? In the comments below, please let me know or let us know what happened because I wanna get as many people as possible sharing their story, okay? Because one, you can help someone else by letting them know the experience that you had. So let's, let's break down you know, a scenario of a bad haircut and there's a variety of different types of bad haircuts, okay? One, I've seen, and I call it a crime scene, right? A hair monstrosity, you know, the hair police have to come in and fix it. <laughs> so a hair crime scene, basically, it's if the haircut is so disastrous and so bad that in like one particular area or even throughout the entire top, or there's usually a targeted area that has been cut so poorly, it's literally a disaster. It's so bad that there's really no hope for it unless to either shave your head or cut it a lot shorter. A lot of times that happens maybe when it's layered the wrong way, it's cut very uneven, you know, one side's like an inch or two longer than the other. I notice a lot of bad haircuts simply come down to improper balance when it comes to layers, the length being off, the shape being off. So there's a lot of things that just aren't really executed the right way. And that comes down to experience and technical ability from the person cutting your hair. Another one is if, you know, say for example, you're trying to go get a skin fade somewhere and you go to somebody who has no idea how to do skin fades and they literally just, they, they cut like this length and then all of a sudden it goes from this to like a one or something. There's no fading, no blending. It's so bad that you're like, oh my gosh, what did you do? That's another example of a bad haircut. So a bad haircut can literally be a number of things. Uh, another example is, you know, you wanted a little bit of a trim and they completely chopped your hair, hacked it off way too short, gave you something completely different. That's another one that I hear a lot from people is, I, I wanted one thing, I showed them a photograph, and you know, they left me with some sort of dead raccoon on my head, and I didn't want that, you know? So like, you really have to, that's, that's another example of just getting something you didn't really want, because the person didn't know how to execute it. So I, I would love to see and hear from you all, you know, as many comments as possible, share your stories, now, how do you go about fixing a bad haircut? What do you do in those scenarios? This is very interesting. I have loads and loads of videos on bad haircuts, how to fix them, what to do. But in my situation, right, as a professional for many, many years, here's a couple of, of ways that this could play out, okay? One, you're at this barbershop, you're at the salon, and you're getting your hair cut. You are starting to notice things are not really lining up properly with the shape of what they're doing and that's like halfway through. You have every right to say, hey, wait a minute, hold on a second here. It's looking a little bit short. Like, I don't think I really want to go that short. The only problem is this is what's gonna happen. One, you're going to cause the stylist or the barber or whoever to start having a panic attack <laughs> because they're gonna get freaked out. Anytime they hear, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, oh my God, and you cut it too short, that hair's gone. So we are gonna start having a meltdown internally Second is, you know, you can't get the, you can't put the hair back on your head, okay? That's why it's very, very important that you both communicate before you start the haircut. Let them know, I don't want to cut too short. I don't want it around the ear. I want the length right here. And make sure who you're going to, they have experience. Like, look at their work before you go in. Check them out on social media, see what they do, you know? But you have to communicate from the very beginning because, again, once the haircut is too short, that's it. And imagine if you only have one side of your head done. You start freaking out because one side's short. What are you gonna do, leave the other side long? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. You're gonna have to go with a new short haircut. You can't just get up and leave, all right? You're gonna have to, it's, it's a bad situation, I know, but that's it. Another one is if you're done, okay, you're fully finished with the haircut and, this, and the professional, what do you think? Don't you love it? Oh my gosh, you look great. Um, what do you think? What do you think? And you're like, uh, I don't, this is not what I was expecting. Uh, I don't really know. Again, please keep in mind, 
Just as much as you're upset, any type of negative feedback, we are very emotional people. We take so much pride in our work and you're, we're responsible for how you look. So when you tell us that you don't like it or something is off, again, the internal panic mode kicks in, the internal like I wanna go and bury myself in a hole for like 19 years, it all starts to come caving and crashing down on us and we feel we don't know how to handle it because it's, it's a very, very tough situation to be in as a professional. So if you start right away, when you start lashing out and freaking out and the whole, the crying fits start, and then you start having a panic attack and then all sorts of, it's just a nightmare. It's not good for anyone. So the best case scenario is, you know, I don't know, it's a little shorter than I expected. Uh, I don't know, you know, I'll give you feedback. Do you think you could help me style it in a few different ways or, you know, try to get to style it a few different ways, try to play around with it just, but then again, you're better off just, because they probably have someone right after you. You may have to say, hey, you know what, can I talk to the, the owner or something? Because I really, it's not what I was expecting. Talk to the owner and then the whole drama begins. You know, the whole salon is in the back room, peeking out, this, peeking out going, oh my gosh, she hates it, she hates it. He hates it, look at him, he hates it, he's, he's, he doesn't want to pay. He doesn't want to pay. And, and trust me, everyone's talking, it's a nightmare. So, you know, chances are you talk to the owner, you'll probably not have to pay for it. It depends on their you know, policies and stuff and the way they handle these situations. There's a strong chance you probably won't have to pay or you still may have to pay, you know, but that haircut deduction is gonna get taken out of that stylist, meaning they're not gonna get paid for that bad haircut they did, which is, I guess, makes sense. It's justifiable. So, you know, there's a lot of, of things that could happen. Again, it's very tough on the stylist, but it's very tough on you, the client because you are walking around now with a haircut that you don't like. You have every right to call back then too. You can call back and say, hey, listen, my haircut's not right. If it's something where it's like, oh, one side's a little bit longer, go back, let them fix it, no charge, whatever, that's fine. But if it's a complete crime scene, a total disaster, the hair police, the hair detectives have to come in <laughs> and patch it up, I would say don't go back to that person. You may have to invest in another haircut from someone else to fix it up or you may have to just grow it out, play around with different styling options, but let me know in the comments below. I want as many people as I possibly can get to leave their stories, leave their feedback, let me know what's happened. Let us also know how you were able to fix it, what you did, and I'd love to know. So thank you so much for watching, thanks for your feedback, and I'll see you soon.